my beautiful friends. So today's video, I thought I would do something fashion related, but really fun. I thought it'd be neat to show you the different style of clothing I wear, not just in this video, but today I thought I would do my more sporty look versus my more girly look. Some days I dress so, so girly, it would make you puke. I wear dresses and high heels. Um, I put heels on with my jeans and I'll wear a really nice blouse. It just depends. And then some days I dress like I have on now, which is super like 90s grunge, um, very reminiscent of the 90s, um, hip hop -y, a little more sporty. And I just thought I would start there. Sometimes I dress very boho, and then sometimes I dress kind of just in sweatpants, but I kind of jazz them up a little bit. So today I thought I would do my sporty look versus my girly look. So if that sounds interesting, I hope you stick around and subscribe. Um, my name is Charlie for those who are new to my channel, and I do lifestyle videos as far as like I like to do makeup. I like to give you tips and tricks with makeup. My fashion is my favorite, home decor, um, and then recently I'm going to start doing videos that kind of top do more tough topics for like teen and young adult and even, you know, older adults who need a little bit of help. I thought I would reach out in my very first video. I'm going to do like the pros and cons of being in the plus size community. And because we are almost in spring and getting closer to summer, I would like to tell my experience with what I feel like could have pop possibly or potentially have been a trafficking situation with my daughter and I. I didn't know if I should share because there are plenty of women bringing awareness but I think any story out there can help bring awareness to it especially with me I feel like summertime because people are kind of like enjoying the weather we're out more we have our guard down um maybe we fall more victim to something like that so I thought I would just share my experience and that's that so most of the time I'm always glammed. I wanted to show this makeup look. I use my Jaclyn Hill and Morphe 2 palette. If you are a beginner, this palette is a dream for blending. Um, I'm just getting into using these more vibrant and bright colors. So I feel like I am not, I'm a seasoned as far as like doing regular makeup, but I am newer to using a lot of color on my eyes. So this palette has made it incredible for me to start practicing using more color in my daily looks. Um, I'm always glammed up here and then I kind of sometimes will grunge down um, so I'm kind of like an oxymoron I'm super super glammed up here and sometimes I just look grungy down here so my very first two outfits are my sporty looks and then we'll get into some girly looks so if this all sounds interesting I hope you stick around and subscribe and I will see all of you guys at the end of the video okay you guys so the very first outfit I just have this t-shirt that I got from boohoo I think at the time it was like 12 bucks and it's just a black t-shirt with a print of Tupac on it. It's held up nice. I wore it all summer long. It's nice and baggy and loose, which I love. And then I just like to pair it with these cargo pants that I got from Shein. These aren't the best quality, so I don't wear them as much as the black pair that I'm going to put on for you. And then I just love to pair them with a pair of high white socks and my platform feelers. I feel like this is very, like casual job like um still sporty you just have your joggers on you're comfortable i would wear this to my daughter's school for like a basketball game and i would just throw over a jean jacket um not necessarily a flannel because i feel like the flannel would look funny with the army print but i just really love this i feel super casual i can run around in this and i love the accent of the platform shoe i feel like it just gives it a little extra something and dresses up the outfit a little bit better so i'm going to show you my black pair of pants and how i would dress them up more with like my flannel and my jean jacket but this is just outfit, outfit number one just something super casual you could definitely um tie your shirt here you could tuck it in the back i prefer to tuck it like this and cover my tummy a little more and kind of just give me that little curve right here where you could tuck it in the sides um i would love essentially to wear it like this but i know some people still get offended when somebody's front you know tummy is kind of out but you could definitely tie it like this it would give you a little more shape and i just love it with these sneakers so this is one of my most casually worn outfits these pants are really cute but i'm going to show you the pair that i like a little bit better with this particular sporty outfit i guess okay so i put you guys up a lot higher so hopefully you have a better view of this particular outfit and the rest of the outfits so i kept the t-shirt on then i put on underneath which is one of my favorite looks to put flannels over anything whether it is a um, hooded sweatshirt um, just an open t-shirt a turtleneck is one of my favorite looks um i love flannels and then i paired it with this really cool jacket that I kind of stole from my sister. It just has all kinds of little graphic designs on it. Um, really, really cute. It's got like a, um, 
a smiley face and then a guy kind of sitting on it with a tornado head um it almost looks hand painted but i know it wasn't i'm not sure where the actual jacket's from there is the back of it super duper cute like i have said in past videos i am a big sucker for jean jackets so then i paired it with these really really cool um like cargo pants so for the pants these are the ones that i love the most they do have a deep pocket they're just a black cargo pant um with these kind of really cool straps on them from shein and instead of doing my white platform feelers i just did a white um hiking boot this is such a like sporty but more like modern kind of cool outfit i love it i love it paired with the jean jacket i also love it with the um little extra pop of the flannel then you got the cool graphic tee with these cool like strappy pants and then these white hiking boots just give it a pop of color so you kind of got like a monochromatic but like you got the black the white and then the little pop of the denim which i love i feel like this is kind of very reminiscent of like the grunge era of the 90s which is one of my favorites um i personally wouldn't wear such like a glam look with it. I would probably just do like a big winged liner, some lashes and just like a dark lipstick, which would look really cool with this. And then I would pair it with just a big hoop earring. I love, love, love this kind of a look. So let me see, I think I'm gonna try something else. So what I might also do with it um, is kind of take the flannel and then wrap it around my waist to give myself a little extra, um, like shape and then i put the jean jacket over which also is a super cool look especially with spring coming um layering is always nice for the spring because it could be really really warm in the morning time in the late afternoons it could get chillier when the sun's going down i know we changed the clocks here in a couple days so hopefully we're closer to spring but you could even do something like this which would look really really reminiscent of like the 90s grunge era and I love this look. So there it is. There's another way to wear this outfit and I really, really love it. I think it's a great look and very sporty, very kind of like I said, reminiscent. And with this boot, I mean, come on, this is a really cool outfit um, and I love it. Now I don't put a age restriction on like clothing. I think that anybody can wear whatever makes them happy. Um, I'm 34, so I wear whatever I want. Um, some days I dress like this and some days I dress super girly. It just depends. So this is the first two outfits. This is probably my absolute favorite. Okay, you guys, so I just listened to some of the footage. I know it's very echoey in here and I definitely need to get some type of microphone. I'm new to all this, so um, I'm gonna try to find a microphone that would work so that when I back up, you hear me a little bit better and it's not so echoey. So just bear with me, but this dress is one of my favorite um, transition from winter to spring so when you have a few days where it's like 50 60 degrees you can get away with wearing this I'm going to show you two styles that I like to wear this so the first one is very girly I just paired it with these really pretty wicker earrings that will be in um, my favorite and expensive jewelry haul so you'll get a better look at them I would definitely wear my hair curly like this and this dress is from Amazon it's an extra extra large and it fits like a 2x and I love it so I love it first because it's um three quarter sleeves and it screams spring it has these beautiful pink um little like flowers on it it is completely um buttoned down this reminds me of the dresses my mom and my aunt wore in the 90s and i'm sure people will kind of know what i mean it hits right perfectly at my ankle and i would pair it with little mules like this look how cute it has like this perfect little slit right there and let me pull you down so I can show you the actual shoes that I'm wearing with it. They are adorable. So I just put them with these mules from the brand Sugar and they're absolutely gorgeous. So the shoes are absolutely stunning. I will actually, um, not very ladylike, but I'll take it off and kind of show you. These go perfect with jeans, anything. And again, they're from the brand Sugar. Um, if I can find them, I'll link them. And I believe I only got mine in a seven and a half, but I love these open back mules um and i love that they're unique that it came up that it's got like a gold and tan um 
kind of like pearlescent uh, glittery hue to it and if you're someone who looks really nice in hats I don't love hats on me but like one of those wide brim hats would look beautiful with this outfit but like this is what I'm saying about being super girly again I would wear this to work in um, to go out to lunch on the weekend I love this dress I love that it has this really pretty slit so it just gives it a little extra something it's very flowy and it fits so nice it hits me right under the bust um, and it's very stretchy they had this dress in so many different colors. I did the black because I wasn't sure the fit of any of the clothes from Amazon. I've never bought anything off of Amazon, but I love this. And I, unfortunately there's no pockets, but I found a dress very similar to this from Old Navy um, that I love just as much. I'm not sure if I've done an outfit of the day in it yet, but yeah, this is one of my girlier outfits. And then I'm gonna show you um, how I would dress it uh, a little more, um, like if I was going out on the evening, I might pair it with like a pair of motorcycle boots and a leather jacket. So let's see what that would look like. I haven't done it yet, so we'll both find out if I like it that way. Okay, so to just get a second outfit out of this, I would pair it with this really nice like faux leather jacket that I got from... I think I got it from TJ Maxx or Ross. I know they were, it was like 20 bucks, which I thought was a steal. And I loved this little um, like feminine neck that it had. So when you do zip it up... It does have like this touch of like a silver hardware that goes to your neck, which still looks super cool with the dress, but I would definitely wear it open to give myself some more shape. And then I kind of paired it to be kind of cool with these just inexpensive uh, like motorcycle boot that I got, but you can find these anywhere nowadays, even off of Amazon. I got my sister a pair off Amazon, super cheap, and she loved them and they've hold, held up pretty good. And I think they were like $47, but these I got at Kmart, um, my God, probably almost 12 years ago. Unfortunately, we don't have Kmart anymore. I don't even know if anyone has Kmart. Um, since Walmart came to our area, we lost all of our Kmarts, but that's where these are from. So I think it looks really cool and it just jazzes up this outfit and gives you one more look with this dress. So you have the girly, but kind of like a uh, twist on it, like kind of motorcycle-y but girly so let's move on to the next outfit so this next outfit I bought from Boohoo this top I actually hauled it but I have never really got to style it for anyone it's a lot of denim I should have sized down um, I realized that I really need to size down on Boohoo as well as the leggings that I'm wearing are also from Boohoo which I 100% needed to size probably two or three sizes down but I love this I should have got it in black as well but it's like I don't know if it's like a hoodie or a jacket but I wear it as both because it is so heavy and nice but you'll see I definitely should have sized down I was looking for an actual three-quarter zip like this in more of the 90s style the one that's like kind of mesh and it's like purple and teal and white if you know what I'm talking about um, but I found this and I loved it I think I paid $30 for it and it's really cute. Now I wouldn't pair this with jeans because I feel like it would be way, way too much denim. So I put them with black leggings and I think it looks really cute. This does zip the whole way down, but I don't have anything underneath of it, which you definitely should wear something under in case you had to take this off for any per for any reason. But for filming purposes, I don't have anything under it. Um, as for the hood, it is so cute and warm and it's got like this Sherpa lining and I love it. I just think it looks so, so cute. And I love the color of the denim. This is the only thing that kind of ticks me off is that it's a mock pocket. There's not an actual pocket there, which I feel like would have been um, very useful. And they did have this in black, which I love. Now this you can leave open or you can tie it. Um, it just depends on my mood that day. Um, you can definitely tie it. It doesn't get too, too tight. But either way, I feel like it's meant to be worn more of a baggy style. And then I just paired it with a pair of high socks and my all white Converse. I'm so excited for these for the summer. I think these are gonna look great with jean shorts and just like a t-shirt. I don't wear them right now because it's so muddy from the rain and the snow, but I'm so excited for these for the spring. And even these with that floral dress that I had on would look so cute. So I feel like this is another super cute outfit. Very sporty, casual, still youthful, and I really love it. Um, I know this in particular wouldn't be for everybody. My daughter said it would look better in black. I know, I understand. I just love denim jackets. 
I don't know why I love them so much. I think they just remind me so much of being a kid. But this was something that I had never seen before. And when I saw it on Boohoo, I knew I had to have it. And believe it or not, it's not like uncomfortable, but it is heavy. So you're going to be warm in it. Um, but I thought this looked super casual and cute together. And I really, really loved it. These white um, Converse were so hard to find over Black Friday. And I ended up getting them for... Um, I believe Christmas maybe and I love them the only thing I want is a pair in the platform because I love them even more and they have them in like a tan platform but maybe I'll ask for them for Mother's Day but yeah this is number um one two three four five so we'll do maybe two more outfits okay so for this outfit it is super duper dressy this is maybe something I would wear to a dinner if I had a dinner super girly um, personally, I would wear this all day long. I know this is definitely somebody's more going out outfit, but I love these kind of outfits all the time. Super cute shirt that I got from Boohoo. What attracted me to it was this like sheer mess mesh in the arms and I thought it was so cute and it's definitely a high neck um, turtleneck, but it's not tight. It's not killing me and it's black ribbed. I love it. I thrifted these dress pants from um where did I get these? Maybe Plato's Closet. They're Torrid or what are the thrift stores? And they're just a tiny flare. And then I paired them just with a nude heel. That's usually what I would wear with these or a boot. But I'm just showing them with the actual nude heel itself. I love these. They're a size zero. So I'm not sure what that is in Torrid. But when I pair it with this jacket, I get stopped all the time about this outfit. Um, people just love this burnt orange jacket and it's from TJ Maxx so I'm not sure if they'll have it in but I'm sure you can find something very similar or I will look online to find something similar for you um, but this jacket just kind of I think it's the black and the burnt orange together so it just really really catches people's eye and they always stop me to uh, ask me questions they always stop me and ask me questions about this jacket. So this is something that you could definitely wear if maybe you're a teacher or you're going out to lunch or you have like a business meeting. This looks great together. So it's just one of these suede jackets. It hits me at a great length. It has these nice like little lapels. I love this outfit. I love this outfit for like a date night. Um, and with the little pop of a nude heel, it just looks great. And this is one of my more fancier like girly outfit so I love 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 this outfit um and it's a great date night it's great for going out to lunch with a friend um but I would wear it every day I do wear it all the time so that's what I mean by like my style is very um back and forth I never stick to like okay I'm always business casual or I'm always girly or I'm always kind of sporty it's just my mood that day so I love this jacket. I love this outfit. And again, I think these sleeves are just so much fun. And you could definitely just wear this on its own. And I just think they are unique. I've never really seen a top like this. I'm sure um, other people have. I just haven't personally. And I feel like I don't wear this top enough. But because these pants, these slacks are so nice. Um, they are like mid waist. So they're not super, super high. But they definitely fit nice and I feel like they give me nice shape they have nice deep pockets um the only thing I notice with these pants is throughout the night when I'm standing and sitting because the last time I wore them I went out to dinner with friends and you know when you're going to the bar to get a drink or whatever the more I stood up in them the stretchier they kind of got baggy in the crotch area but um I guess that's with any kind of slack that might happen but that's the only thing I noticed. So I'm going to change into one more outfit and we will wrap this Last up. Last but certainly not least is my like mom outfit. I love collared shirts. I used to hate them growing up. But the older I've gotten, the more I like them. You kind of look like somebody who is a little more put together and sophisticated. And I do love them. Now I got this from Old Navy last year. It's just this like mustardy yellow with lighter like pastel yellow stripes. I love this. It's an extra, extra large. It fits me nice. Now, I don't wear khakis often. I literally only have this pair of khakis. Um, 
I don't always love the way they look. I feel like they have to be styled a very certain way or you can feel like you're going to Walmart to work or something. So, or you're working like a job, a retail job. So I feel like they need to be tapered real tight at the bottom um, and maybe cuffed to style them a little bit nicer. But I do love this. I have about four or five collared shirts. I have one plain white one, one plain blue one. I have a flower one. I have this one. And I have my favorite one, which is um, has little hearts on it. But I just thought I'd share this because I feel like it looks nice with the khaki. And then I just paired it. Now that I'm looking at it, I don't know how I feel with the white mule. It's not right. Something about it doesn't look right, right? But I will show you the mule. They're just like my nurse shoes. Um, every time I wear them, my aunt tells me they look like little nurses' shoes from like the. My aunt was a nurse in like the 60s, and she says that what she. This reminds me of the shoe she wore, but now that I'm looking at them, for some reason it clashes. So let me try something different. Let me put um, my heels back on. These are my most worn and most comfortable heel. Um, I feel like every woman should have one pair of heels that they can wear um, like out and about if they need to look a little nicer. So I feel like every woman needs like one pair of comfortable heels. So let's see if this looks a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. That looks a lot nicer. So now you have a little more of a casual outfit, but you have that little pop of a heel. So I feel like it looks um, still girly, but sophisticated. You could run out to brunch in this. You could meet your girlfriends for brunch, your husband. Um, I don't know if I would pair a jacket. If I was gonna pair anything over it, I would probably do like a sweater. I do have a sweater in my closet, but it is green. So I feel like it would look strange. Let me see one sweater I have. Just for an example, I have this white sweater from Boohoo that I absolutely love. This like, by the way, I said was from Old Navy. Um, let's just see, for example, how I would style it. Obviously not with this color. I would do like a black with this or a nude sweater. Um, but I would definitely take the collar over it, and that's how I would style it with a sweater. Not this sweater, but a sweater. Um, and then you have a very, like, preppy, girly look. My daughter just started playing golf for high school. I am so excited. Unfortunately, you can't go to the meets. I'm not really sure why, but you can watch them tee off, and you can watch them do their last hole. I wish I could be there, but this is something I would wear to, like, her golf meets, um, I'm so excited for her. She really, really loves it and seems to be pretty good at it. So I am so excited to see where that takes her. So now she's doing cheerleading into the winter and fall and then spring and into early summer. She'll be doing golf up until like almost May. Um, it's a very, very expensive sport. My husband and I laugh because we always say that three of us pick the most expensive hobbies. He likes fishing. I enjoy makeup and now she likes golfing. And even cheerleading can be quite expensive, but I keep reminding him, you know what, she's only a teenager once and I would rather her be overly involved in school activities than not doing anything at all. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that because my sister really did like the bare minimum because she wasn't really into school, but it's the first child of our, like in this, she's the first family member, like she's the first... Brooke is the first one of any of us to really, really invest in school and really enjoy high school. So I'm crossing my fingers that maybe she really has a fabulous time in high school. Um, we go to everything. We go to every basketball game, every football game, every um, uh, fundraiser. We just really want to be involved and be like a big present in the school. So this is something I would wear minus the sweater. So um, that is all of my sporty versus girly outfits. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it down below. This is just outfit ideas. It's just for fun. I'm going to do one more um, showing maybe like my boho looks versus my more like very, very casual, like my sweatsuits that I like to wear, how I style my sweatsuits. Maybe I'll just do that on its own, how I style my sweatsuits, because we are going into spring, and I'm definitely going to want to pull out more of my spring um, outfits to start doing, you know, spring fashion, because it's coming up faster than you realize. So I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope you all want to stick around and subscribe. Um, it would mean so much to me, and leave me a nice comment down below, or constructive criticism comment, anything you feel um, leave down below. I will link as much as I can in the description and I hope to see all of my beautiful friends in the next video. Bye guys.